Hello, I'm Lenny Rhodes, owner of Mix Cosmetics. I make custom organic skincare, makeup, body care, and I've been doing it for a long time. And one of my favorite parts is to teach people about the ingredients and teach people how to use the ingredients and why to choose certain ingredients. So I've been kind of walking through some of the additives, the fillers, the things that people sort of demonize in makeup and in color cosmetics. So today I wanted to talk about one called silica or silicon dioxide that's sort of the and you know what's funny is all of these are white so it's not that exciting to show it to you because it looks just like boron and it looks just like pearl and zinc oxide so all the things that i've already showed you and so basically silica what it does is it mattifies things it absorbs a lot of oil. So funny story, I tried this as a dry shampoo. So basically I like, if, I'm, if I can, I like to put ingredients 100% full strength on my skin, on my scalp, whatever, try it and see what happens. This stuff absorbed oil for about a year. Okay, not truly, but it, made my hair immediately like, so I have oily, greasy hair. It made my hair just immediately like dry and matte and um, feel like horse hair kind of and hard to brush. And it took probably two weeks to actually finally wash it out of my hair. So I add a teeny tiny bit in my dry shampoo because it's super effective at absorbing oil and it's actually what your hair and fingernails are made up of and rocks so it's highly beneficial for your skin your hair and your nails and all that kind of stuff so it's one of those, those things that it's good for you and there's no reason not to add it but here is why most makeup companies or why you would find it in makeup I'm gonna show you so here Oop, I did it upside down. Oh well. Um, here is a color. It is this pink, red, blue, loose mineral. And it is a very shiny, like pinky, purpley duochrome. You can see that, right? And then here is just the silica by itself. It's almost clear. And then here it is mixed with the silica. Look how completely mattified. It took almost all of the sheen away from that color. So that is what silica's superpower is, is basically if something is too shiny, too shimmery, too glossy, put a little silica in it and bam, it is mattified. So I do this with lipstick if people want kind of that matte looking lipstick. I do it with lip gloss if people say, oh, I don't like that really sticky feel in lip gloss. Add some silicone. And it is a phenomenal finishing powder ingredient because it does not settle in the fine lines, in the wrinkles. It sits right on top. It's ground in a circle, in a, in a sphere. So it sits beautifully and it just gives you that extremely airbrushed sort of look. So it's a gorgeous ingredient that does, that kind of has some fabulous superpowers and it is naturally derived. So it's a natural ingredient that you actually find like in spices even to help keep them as a free flowing powder and if they're prone to clumping up. So that's why you would add silicon or silic silicone dioxide or silica to your makeup is to mattify it and create that really nice smooth airbrushed look. So I hope this has been fun and helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And next time I'm going to talk about boron and why you might want to add boron, what it is, where it comes from. So we will talk soon. Have a great day.